Hello, so this week we'll take a very plain wall of text like this, a typical about me page uh, or a blog post. Uh, we see that everywhere on the internet and you might have something like this and we'll try to take this and convert it into something like this. So I'll just scroll down. There's a few elements here. So again, same text, but uh, just adding images, adding different elements of style, and then we can get a very uh, different result. Uh, so the first part of the talk, I uh, will um, talk about the principle of going from this to the other one. Uh, I went through five different steps, and I encourage you to listen to that uh, part because you don't have to go all the way to this. There's definitely improvements you can make uh, you know, at various uh, time and in your website's life, and uh, sometimes a small improvement can be always good. Uh, you don't have to go in details, and this definitely takes more time. It's more complicated. Uh, so I will do my best, give you an overview, and then show you exactly how I would, uh, you know, approach this. Uh, and then hopefully you can learn something about Tribe Architect as well. So I'll do my best. It won't be complete. Uh, it would take a long time to explain all, all of the concepts behind, uh, but I'm building some training courses to, to help people uh, with, um, with Tribe Architect and with design in general. So let's go with this, and I'm going to scroll down. So this is the first version, and there's a blog post attached to this video. Uh, so feel free to go and visit it. You'll see all the examples. Uh, so this is the first uh, original piece of text, so four paragraphs like this and a title. What I would do as a first step is limit the amount of words per line and the amount of words per paragraph. So I'll show you exactly what it means. So instead of having text and paragraph that, that goes from one side to the other, divide it in two columns like this. It's easier to read. You'll see um, this in newspaper. When you open uh, open a newspaper, you'll see two, three, four, five columns. The reason is that it's easier for the eye to read when it's a smaller column like this. So I will link some uh, articles that talks about that. The op optimal line length. Uh, this is from the Baymart Institute, and uh, there is another article here that talks about it and they go in details and give you some formulas and stuff. I don't think it's necessary for you to know about all those details, uh, but basically in a nutshell, it's easier to read. So that's the first thing I would do. Make sure the quantity of, uh, uh, of words per line or characters per line are less. So two columns like this is a good start. Uh, the other thing I would do is uh, try to break your paragraph in, into smaller paragraphs. So here you see we have four paragraphs and here we've tried to cut as much as we can and uh, we have roughly what 10, 11 paragraphs. So they're easy to read. It's it's again, it's something that the eye and the brain, um, it, it's less, you know, imagine if that would be one big paragraph would be very um, very hard to read, so the shorter usually it's better. It's not a, a rule, uh, you know, that you should uh, take literally and break everything into short paragraphs. But as a general rule, I think it's a good practice, uh, and then you can make improvements. So already we went from uh, this to this, and you see that the font size is larger. So this is twenty uh, points uh, or twenty pixels. Uh, and here it was 16. So you'll see a lot of 16 uh, on the internet, 18 as well. Uh, if you you know if you're not afraid, go with 20. There's even people going uh, bigger than that. You know, as popula population aging, uh, it makes it uh, easier for people to read. So I guess it depends on your audience, depend on your brand, on your style. But in terms of conversions, usually as a general rule. Uh, the larger, it, the easier it is to read, then the better conversion. So something to consider as well. So I'll show you uh, another uh, thing we can do just with text. So no images again. So here what we've done is include some variety. So the first paragraph, a bit larger like this in the brand colors. So depending on your brand colors, if it's a light color on the white, it might not work. You might have to find an alternative color, but something like this could be interesting. Here we've changed it, the, the the title as well. Since instead of just being about us, it's a bit more what the person does. So that could be interesting to sometimes 
th whatever uh, person wrote for you or if you've written yourself sometimes play with you know titles and text um, and here we've put something in bold like this uh, so it, it introduces the next section so that can be interesting little bullet points like this and then we end up with something a bit larger so already we went from so from this to this uh, so for me it's easier to read um, and more inviting to read as well uh, there's you know uh, a lot of things that could be different it's a lot of things that might not apply for your design the background colors your brand colors your font so there's a lot of consideration this is one example uh, but again it's a case-by-case -case scenario so um, it's something that hopefully it can help you in into improving what you have so the next thing I would uh, tell people or I would do when I, I work on a page is to add images um, and I'll show you an example here again that's one example uh, we could have gone a lot of different ways uh, but this is an example where we have a long image like this so we have the text like this and then uh, an image on the side and then we broke the text again so the rest of the text is here and then there's a different image so different image size this is a long image it can be you know a good effect um, we could have used this image in a different format as well uh, there's a lot of different ways of doing layout with images but just to show you that you know uh, I think a lot of people are afraid of having people to scroll it is sometimes a concern but we do have now the possibility of adding images and we have space on uh, on a oh, on a page, and we don't have to pay more. Back in the old days, with the print in the print world, you know, you would go and say, "I want to print a flyer," and then they would say, "Okay, uh, is it one page or is four pages?" And then the price is different. And then, oh, do you have images? Then it's it's more expensive. You have colored images, it's more expensive. And then uh, glossiness, and and there was a lot of factors, um, effects on the paper. So uh, now it's basically uh, you know free. It takes time. Uh, so that's something but at least you can do something so again you don't have to like it uh, you can play with your own images and, and do different layouts I'll show you uh, another example here so different images uh, and then here we've added what we call a hero section so instead of having the the text um, or the title right just plain we've put it on an overlay on a, an image like this that talks about what the person does so again contextualizing for the article and the text is always good uh, but just to show you here even if it would be generic it's already giving some flair to the page and then here we've, we've got this try to, to keep the colors so the the color here and the color here is the same it helps into keeping things together uh, so again, so here we've I've shown the example here. It's larger. The paragraphs are not separated. It's two paragraph. It can be still very good. It's more compact. You have less scrolling. Uh, so that's another way. Here the image is more horizontal. So because of the effect of the image, we we went and touched the side as well. So that's another way of uh, doing it. Um, it can be very good, very good images. That's another point good images makes a huge difference if um you know if the images are very plain boring bad lighting just just bad pictures in general and it's very hard if you're not a designer if you're starting it's hard to know sometimes if it, if a picture is good or not what i would say is give as many pictures as you can to your designer if you go with with someone or spend time to choose uh, try different images on your page and see if something clicks and something works better than uh, something else now the last uh, and there's a lot of things that here the end of the text finishes there so there's a lot of elements even into this there's a little white space that can be nice sometimes it's not nice so it's really case by case it's very hard if you're starting with design uh, to, to get it right and I know you might listen to this and let me try and then you put an image and and you realize it it doesn't necessarily fit or there's something that doesn't work and it's part of design it takes years to master so sometimes asking someone um, that's got some type of experience is always a, a good way uh, if you're starting looking another trick is to look at professional designs and I'll, I'll put some resources for that as well uh, I think Pinterest is a good way to to get inspiration and 
and learn just by looking and, and uh, spending time uh, analyzing uh, people's des other people's design. The last part is what I've shown you at the beginning. Uh, so uh, I'll cover, I'll just go through it. So we have a, an image of, and then there's a person in the image. Uh, so this is, that could be the, it's, a, it's again, uh, it's not a real about us. It's just a, um, a free images that I've taken. But show you if, if there's a person, sometimes it gives this, this uh, dimension. It's very nice images, a blurry car there, uh, very colorful, very bright. Um, we've put text here like this. We've changed the text again. If you're doing an about us page, instead of just saying about me, do explain what you do. So if you're helping businesses with walls, in this case, uh, you know, type it in there and try to give the some of the benefits to re your reader instead of saying about me where you know it doesn't say what you do in a nutshell so uh, here this is maybe a stronger title so sometimes play with this uh, but again a few elements here we have a an image it's the same image we've just cropped it differently uh, there's an overlap here on the title there's a 3d effect there's a drop shadow and then here the first paragraph we've we did an overlap so it's white on dark and then we we went halfway like this again it's it's something to be uh, very attentive when you do design like that make sure it's tested for tablet for phone so this is really more of an advanced design uh, it takes more time it takes more practice and and more concentration uh, when doing that but it can give you this little edge um, of something if i just go back here it's still very nice uh but you know it's a question of of do you prefer clean this is a clean design and i, I think it's very nice because the colors are matching uh, but here there's more integrated design uh, again little caption as well sometimes people will not start reading but they will start reading the caption because there is an image they want to know what it is and then if the caption provoke the the reader to go and start reading about the person about what it is and and so there's a lot of and again we're falling into copywriting but that can be very interesting to use that uh, place to to do that uh, here we have so part of the design here which is one of the blue somewhere so it's not even there so it's one of the section and then we we have this effect uh, and then there's uh, again a little piece like this so it's more of a magazine style there's more more design elements it looks more you know less plain more professional again might not apply for your style for your brand but it's just an example of what we can do with Thrive Architect and then we end up with the full image like this and a call to action like this so again uh, use of large screens sometimes it's very good it's one image and then we've managed to use it four times four different ways without being too uh, repetitive uh, but really conveying a message again this you know maybe four different images would have been better for the storytelling uh, it really depends on on, uh, on what you do so but it gives you an example and then we end up with the footer of you know of your your, uh, your uh, page here uh, that's with uh, I think the English and teams so uh, again so what I'll do now uh, is spend maybe 10 minutes try to show you very quickly uh, how that can be done uh, maybe what I'll do is show you something like this that's that's easier and if you're interested let me know uh, would love to spend more time in explaining different techniques and uh, uh, ways of doing things uh, so let me just jump into a page so I went ahead and created a page. So actually, I did a mistake. So it's a post. Let me do it as a page. So I've created a page. Uh, so to click at new, put the title, uh, click update or publish. Uh, this is the URL. You'll be able to go and uh, read about it as well. Uh, so what I do in this case, I hide the page title. I'm using Thrive, um, one of the Thrive themes, the themes from Thrive Themes. So it allows me to have this. If you're using a, uh, a, a different theme, then you're going to have different settings and, and you'll have to go and figure out. By default, you see what it gives me is a sidebar widget here and there's an overlay. So what I want is just hide this. So what I do is I hide the page, hide the page title. I'm going to 
put no featured image so in case you use featured image especially for blog posts it's a good way of hiding it i'll hide the share just for the sake of this as well uh, and then this is by default i don't have breadcrumbs but you could hide as much as as you want uh, i'll update this and you could go with full width as well uh, so that's a page the full width is on the side here so again that depends on your theme uh, there they are slightly different sometimes uh, so you'll have to look into that I'll just refresh here I've opened it in Thrive Architect so now we just have this little container we can get rid of it the way to do it drag a background section and then put a uh, stretch to fit screen like this I'm gonna go and pick a white so force it to white like this and then I'm going fast so I could go and spend more time that's why I want to build a course to to show in details what I'm doing uh, but if you follow this usually it's good I know I don't you don't in in 50 minutes I cannot explain uh, all of the details and all the whys but that's why I'm, I want to build a a course I'm gonna do the vertical position like that centered and then what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll clone this twice so I'm gonna have two and then the first one I'm gonna remove uh, this space there so I'm gonna put some negative margin at the top like this and then for this one I'm gonna hide this so I can use the negative margin here so again be careful with this negative margin uh, try not to use it in the middle of your content use it maybe at the top at the bottom and always test so something always test different platforms you know mobile tablet uh, make sure that there is no issue so so we have two containers like this I'm gonna save always save again um, I'll make this very real just like I do uh, I'm gonna go and pick my text so I want I want in my other uh, post and I've selected this I'm gonna go back here and what I'm gonna do is take a paragraph element drag it right in the middle of the background section and then I'm gonna paste so now we've got the default so this is my my theme default font weight and font size uh, so it's something you can override uh, it you know I would say in terms of fonts again I, I can't go in the details of every, everything uh, but uh, you know maybe set your font globally so it's more uniform uh, so in this case I'm gonna leave it like this so it won't look exactly like what I've done and just to show you sometimes uh, we can take decisions I'm gonna improve uh, increase the uh, screen size and I think in the example actually is um, we've got two sections so what I'm gonna do is clone this So sometimes in a Thrive Architect, you have to click properly on uh, this uh, clone uh, uh, icon, and sometimes it, it, you might see that it doesn't work the first time. I've noticed the same thing. Uh, I'm sure they're working to fix it. So uh, if it happens, you're not the only one. So I'm going to move the, the second version here, and what I'm doing is basically, so the, the the second part will be like this. So just those two lines those two paragraphs and then the first part will be those two paragraphs so now I've got two sections with with you know the first part and the second part what I'm gonna do is use the two columns element like this select two columns and then put this like this on the side and I'll do the same thing here so there's different ways again to use columns but that that's definitely one way that I think is gonna work in most cases and then I'm gonna move this here so if you're familiar with Thrive I mean there's some stuff that you will not learn uh, now for the image you have two choices you could drag an image element like like uh, right from here to there uh, so that's simply one option there's definitely pros and cons I'm not gonna again uh, go into details but the other option and I'll show you here you could select the column and uh, go here in the background style and then pick the image right from here so I've picked my image the there is this uh, thing here in the background section will stretch and then you could choose which part of the image uh, you can show so that allows you to give different effects and very easily so you don't have to crop 
so you could go and crop, but if you're reusing the same image, sometimes it's a good way of just using, you know, choosing uh, what you want from there. Uh, so let's see. Now it was a perfect uh, thing that the image was like that, but we could have gone. Sometimes I have to go in Photoshop, or you can use another tool and then crop it so it fits really. The person is really where you want it to be. So that's part of photo manipulation, uh, but. Uh, uh, and sometimes it does take time. So in this case, it did work. Uh, we're lucky with the picture given. Uh, what else could we do here? So title, so we could go at the top, put the heading right at, at the top and then So I'm not replicating the example of, of given. I'm just giving you another version of what we could do. And again, it, it you'll see that I'm doing it in real time. Uh, so, uh, you know, in 10 minutes, uh, that's what it takes me. Of course, if you're new uh, to try work tech, it definitely will take you longer. Uh, so it, and, and in terms of design as well, sometimes we do spend a lot of time in choosing pictures or uh, doing small things. So uh, again, something that, you know, if you if you budget 15 minutes, then you can definitely do improvements. Uh, so it's a question of, of time as well. So, so I, li I like to give re re realistic expectations to clients that, yeah, we, we can do something in 15 minutes but then uh, we have to keep things very simple if we do that because we're going to have to look at tablets, mobile. So sometimes, yes, very complex design is very nice, but it takes, you know, instead of something that could take 10, 15 minutes here, a very complex design might take two, three, four, eight hours because, you know, there's more details. So again, here uh, we can pick another image. So again, pick the column. So uh, and I'll, I'll show you actually if you drag an image so you can understand what's the difference. So I'll take an image and drag it right in the middle of the column. And I'll pick the same image here. And you see that the picture is, it was a horizontal picture. So it's, it's going to show horizontal like this. Uh, so it doesn't have the same effect. Uh, it's maybe not what you want to achieve. So it's always a question of the picture framing, so picture sizing and uh, the subject on the picture as well. There's different things we could do. We could still use that. We could use the pick the two columns so again. If you take the pick the image and there's a concept of the breadcrumbs here, go one level up and then uh, another level up. So pick columns with the two S and then uh, go with actually you'll have to go to. So what I want is go to the background section and do uh, content covers entire screen. So again, it's a different style and sometimes it can be dangerous, but if you would have an image like this, you could go and um, make it touch the side. So that would be one technique uh, through the background section. What I would do if the text touches the sides, that's not for me, uh, you know, good. So what I would do, click on the text, click on the two columns, and then I would use some gutter width like this. So just to give some spacing like this, and what I would do as well is put the text into a content box like this. I've got a content box, take the text, drag it right in the middle of it, then click the text, go back, make sure you're on the higher level on the content box, center it vertically, and then I would do uh, like this. So what we want is not to touch a side and then maybe put it uh, center it like this so again it's I'm just spending five ten minutes just to show you what's possible uh, there's definitely things here that you know could be improved uh, we could have some effects and like this if you want again something very simple might not fit your brand but we could use the shadow and go with something like this and then pick again color selection that's another topic but we could do something like this and we you know, we could try and then you know, for me i would look at the the colors in the picture and see what what would make sense try to find something that complements it so again it might not work if you know uh, so you'll have to to try different things and maybe 
something like this could be interesting so again you'll have to play you'll have to see on on mobile but sometimes little elements like this can be very interesting we could do the same thing for for this one so already in 10 minutes uh, i'm gonna save it i'm gonna preview it so again you can look at uh, tablet so what i would do here is play with the margin so it doesn't touch the sides uh, here we have to make sure that the person is visible on on the tablet as well so it's something to for you to spend a bit more time here it's a bit small so there's different things we could do we could have it this clickable and then when we click it zooms the picture so that's actually quite easy to do uh, so you can go into animation in action click uh, so now it says uh, so I have to go back on the desktop mode so click there animation in action click this one and then say open image and then if we click on it then it's going to zoom it can be good for desktop as well when especially with an image like this what i would add as well is click to zoom or click to enlarge or something like this underneath so people know it's clickable so little techniques like that sometimes that can brings um, bring your element or it could be click for all the details or something like this so again, I'm going to save, just go back tablet. So here is not too bad. I would play with the margin like this here. So again, there's white space. For me, it's not an issue. Uh, sometimes it can be good. Uh, uh, so, but again, it really depends on your design. We could have put another image as well. If you have, there's different things we could do, but don't be afraid necessarily of white space. Uh, it's part of design. And then if we look at, at the phone here, so overall, so this image here, uh, you know, there's different things we could do. We could uh, put some text in there to make it bigger. Uh, we could hide it. There's, so there's a lot of different things. This one, see there's a margin. I would just add some margin here so we can see the text. Uh, we could, you know, is the blue line okay? So that's part of design. That's that's where doing more complicated designs, then it, it creates more, it's more time consuming because we have to, to you know, play with that and consider all of those things. Uh, but there's always ways of fixing it. Uh, sometimes we have to be creative uh, and then, uh, you know, take a decision because phone will be a different, but always have a look. It's always of a good practice. So I'm gonna save this. gonna preview it here so I'll, I'll open it in a different browser just to show you so always test on different browsers Chrome Firefox Internet Explorer so again if we scroll it looks pretty good it it goes from again if I come back from this to this it took you know, uh, 10 minutes. For me, I, I know if you're starting, and that's why I want to create this course to to help you with with keeping things simple but improving upon them. Uh, there's things here, you know, I would, you know, if it would be me, I would go and add some space there. And you might not even see it when if you're starting, but I would go and if I go and spend the time here. So it's something called, so click on the text, click on columns with the S to so select the two columns and something called gutter width. And then it gives some spacing. So it's easier, easier to read like this. So again, we could do all sort of stuff. We could do very fancy stuff, but in, in a few minutes, we have something that looks much better. The title, I think I would spend again, just to, click so if you click one time uh, on it and then just play with this and then what you could do is do something like this and then uh, you know you could choose a different color like this uh, we could do with the light blue like this maybe put this don't be afraid to to put things smaller like this so there's it's always a finding a sweet spot uh, but you know, instead of having everything in, in one one big uh, the same font and everything uniform, doing something like this, uh, it just helps to to make it just just a bit a bit better in terms of, of design. So, again, 
five, 10, 15 minutes, we can do something like this. So I encourage you to spend the time. You, you'll have to you know, uh, open your, eye, your eyes to, for design. Go on Pinterest. That's one way of doing it. So I've just went to Pinterest web, web page design, and then there's all sort of uh, ways of doing layouts. Some of them are more complicated than others. So again, it's a question of time. Uh, it's, it's always a question of time and uh, you will not get this right. Your images will be different formats. The quantity of text will be different format. Your colors will be different, but at least give you some type of uh, inspiration. And then you'll, you'll learn slowly. And there's a lot of videos on YouTube as well about design. Uh, just like here, you see that the images are uh, not on a straight line. It gives this effect uh, that that gives a, a flair to it. So, so that's it in a nutshell. I won't uh, keep it longer than that. If you have any questions uh, for your website, I would be happy to have a look and maybe give you some pointers. If you're looking at someone to help you with your design as well, uh, there's a, a lot of us in the group that can help you. Uh, have a look at my website if you want to reach out personally. Uh, please do so through Facebook or through my website. Uh, and um, I will have a course. It's coming up and it's a lot of work. I want to get it right, um, but there's a waiting list so you can go. Uh, I'll sh so thrivemate.com, click on the online course and then you can uh, click the orange button and then just uh, put yourself on the waiting list and then I'll send you um, information as soon as we release it. So there will be some free, uh, free parts to the course. There will be some paid parts as well. Uh, and then I'm available as well for one-on-one -on -one, uh, training. Sometimes it's it's good uh, if you don't want to learn everything about design, about Thrive Architect, Thrive Leads, and uh, web design in general. One-on-one, -on -one, sometimes we, we can achieve something in a very uh, quick span of time. And I do complete web design and integration, a lot of different things as well. Uh, so let me know if you're interested. Please reach out. And there's a lot of us as well in the group that can help you. That's it. I wish you a very good day today.